Hello, I'm Maureen Rogers from Laurel Mill Playhouse, and this is Curtain Call. And we are so pleased to have some actors and actresses from Pride and Prejudice here with us today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell us what part you play and a little bit about your part. Uh, I'll be, er, my name is Joseph Downs. I'll be playing Mr. Darcy. And uh, Mr. Darcy is a tall, proud man. Uh, man of a state and uh, ultimately think a, a good person, but a very, very uh, prideful person. Tolerably tall, right? <laughs> Tolerably tall, perfectly good. <laughs> and Dana? <laughs> I am Dana Fleischer, and I am playing Elizabeth Bennett. Um, I think one of the most um, ways that I like to describe her, or as Lady Catherine likes to describe her, obstinate, headstrong girl. <laughs> um, I think that sums it up pretty well, uh, whereas he brings the pride to the show, I bring the prejudice. So... That's true. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So I'm going to ask um, both of you uh, how you decided to come and be in this show. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know secretly the real reason, <laughs> but um, it all started back when we were doing Toward Zero, wasn't mm -hmm. it? And that we decided that it would be great to do Pride and Prejudice again. So we brought some people from Toward Zero and we brought some people from the original Pride and Prejudice and, and here we are. We're starting November the 3rd. So what is the hardest thing about doing this show, Joe? The most difficult thing, I should say. I, I will say the language is a challenge. The Regency era speak uh, and some of the corresponding mannerisms are, are occasionally counterintuitive. One other thing I'll mention is that it is a comedy and some of the funniest moments are juxtaposed with some of the most important emotional beats. And mm -hmm. so we, we are very, like we're, we're containing ourselves from breaking because it is important for the story for a few spots. <laughs> and how about you, Dana? I mean, obviously the language, um, I think that is the case for everyone. Um, me personally, the amount of lines is not helping. <laughs> you have an insane amount of lines. It, <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. the most lines. <laughs> I interestingly don't because Darcy is notoriously quiet. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, people talk about how much he doesn't say anything. Yeah. yeah, last time we did it, I thought Darcy had a lot of lines. And it seems like this uh, adaptation has, has just changed it, you know, a bit. When I get a lot of presents, but conveniently have less to Even memorize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what gives you joy about this show? Joy. It's oh. been fun to work with the cast. Um, I, I do like the comedic bits. I think a lot of those have, have been fun to get to work through. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of fun. What about you? Dan? Yeah. I mean, I would just say um, this role has been on my bucket list for a long time. Um, so that has personally been really exciting for me. Um, I really enjoy our cast. Um, like Joe said, it's um, it's been a good time getting to know everyone and working together and seeing, seeing what everybody brings to the table. Yeah. So. It, they're all very supportive. And I think it's been like these last couple of days, we've found some really funny moments Absolutely. too that we didn't realize before, you know, that we're there. Um, why do you think somebody should come to see this show? <laughs> because... It's a classic. People have heard about it, but I wonder if they've ever have watched it that much. You know, they might have read read it, the novel in the, uh, high school or whatever. Sure. But I think it's good. I think it's it's very different to see it live. Oh. Um, I think that the adaptation has a pretty good like amount of energy in it, uh, and yeah, I think it, it is. Uh, it's, it's a, the cast is bringing a lot of life to it. Yeah. Absolutely. I think if you did this for like a year, like if you were on Broadway doing this, I think you'd begin to talk like this <laughs> normally because I could hear myself at home going, indeed, <laughs> indeed, Martha. <laughs> One of the things I've been worried about is if you go up online during the show and you have to improvise, it's going to be so hard to improvise. It is. It's, but it's, it's, like, yeah. it's getting easier as we're getting you know, more used to the text. Yeah. So thankfully. Yes. <laughs> Sensible. Yes, very sensible. Tolerable. I love that. Um, so tell us, Joe, what you've done at Laurel Mill Playhouse before. Uh, 
Yeah, so I've been involved in a few different productions, a number of one acts. Uh, I was in the local playwright, Def, uh, Jeff Dunn, who uh, wrote 2.0, a, um, well, it started out actually as like a one scene, almost horror thing where a, uh, an Amazon Echo takes over someone's life, but he had <laughs> added scenes to it. And so when I went on uh, it with Laurel Mill, I reprised a role and, and then it sort of had a nice emotional ending. Uh, I've worked some of the musicals at Laurel Mill, so I was involved in Jekyll and Hyde, uh, Simon Stride, and also Hunchback as uh, Clopin and Trelefou. Very fun. I got to do a cartwheel across the stage. Uh, <laughs> and, and I was most recently in Toward Zero, uh, an Agatha Christie murder mystery, where um, I, I got to act opposite Dana. <laughs> and it was, it was, our characters had such a good relationship. So good. <laughs> it was, that, was, that was fun to watch. It really was. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> and Dana? Oh gosh, what haven't I done? Um, if we're going really far back, I've done a handful of um, one acts as well. Um, the same festival as Joe, but a different one. Um, favorite roles, I guess we're going to say Corey Bradder in Barefoot in the Park. Oh, yeah. Um, that one was great. Um, we did, I did In the Next Room. I'm not going to remember all yeah. of the shows oh, that I've right. done. that's right, In the Next Room. I'd forgotten about that. That one was really fun. That was, that was good. Charlotte's Web a couple of times. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, most recently Towards Zero. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a fun so. show. Well, they're great to see on stage. I know you're going to love them and you're going to love the parts that they play. So please come out and see them. It does start November the 3rd. Um, and runs through November the 19th. So thank you both for coming out today and, and letting me talk to you about the show. Thank and, you. Um, Glad to be here. We'll see you tonight, actually. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tech week. Yeah. Tech fortnight. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> We're a little bleary-eyed after four day, three days. Out, so. <laughs> so we'll be right back to talk to the uh, other two people I'll be interviewing today. Thank you. Thanks. Three, two, one. The City of Laurel presented the first phase of its new multi-service center to the public, which opens later this year. It will include a new gymnasium, two multi-purpose rooms, and storage rooms for emergency supplies. It's a need that the community has uh, said they want, so we um, move forward with that. For this story and more like it, check out youtube.com slash official. Hello, welcome back to Curtain Call. And we have um, been interviewing actors and actresses from Pride and Prejudice, which does start on November the 3rd and goes until the 19th of November. And you can purchase tickets online at laurelmillplayhouse.org. Why don't you all introduce yourselves and tell us what parts you play and just a little bit about your character. Sure, so I'm Lexi Kay. I played Jane Bennett, the eldest Bennett sister. Jane is sweet and the ingenue type character, just wants everyone to be happy. She's very close with Elizabeth, her um, the next oldest sister. And she's always, she's, she always is wants, she always wants to, you know, make sure every, the, the whole family is happy and calm. <laughs> really? You're the peacemaker. You're the peacemaker, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and Danny? Yeah, I play Mr. Bingley. My name's Danny Shaw, and the, Mr. Bingling is a young, uh, wealthy individual who's in need of a, in want of a wife. Um, he's a little aloof, but he's quite positive, amiable, and somewhat um, of a extrovert as opposed to Darcy in some <laughs> regards. Um, but yeah, I think hopefully there's a little bit of comedic relief yes. um, for such a serious <laughs> show. A and Mr. Bingley hopefully can provide that in some yeah. way, but yeah. So um, you were in Pride and Prejudice when um, we did it before six or seven, like 2016, 2017 maybe. And you played Darcy. 
Yes. Right, right, Darcy. Yes. So how how is it different this time? Does it feel weird to well, hear other lines? The for, lines? <laughs> fortunately, the script isn't the same, so we're using a different one. But there are many lines that are quite similar. And so when Joe, who's playing Darcy, is doing some of his monologues, my brain starts to wire and I'm like, OK, I need to make sure that like <laughs> I shut this off. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. a couple of times reviewing lines have accidentally mixed match the names because uh, obviously yeah. from that. But no, yeah, it's I love this role more. It's much smaller. <laughs> um, I'm, so I should be much better prepared. <laughs> I'm having trouble with you all because because you played a different character before. I'm going, oh my god, which one? Which one is <laughs> yeah. it? Which one is it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, Lexi, you mm -hmm. did stuff at Laurel Mill Playhouse before. I right? did. So, my first show at Laurel Mill was about when I was uh, 19. So, about 10 years ago, I did the Young Adult One X with Larry as the director. Then, too, who is also our director, Pride and Prejudice. Uh -huh. So that's how I met him and got involved with Laurel Mill. Um, it was really, I had a great experience. The, the cast that I worked with at the time was great. Larry was great. And so when I saw the auditions come up for Pride and Prejudice, I said, oh, this would be great. And then I saw Larry was the director. And I said, it's, it felt like a full circle <laughs> moment. It's supposed to be. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you done other things with other theaters? I have. So I have done theater since I was 11. So I did theater all through middle school and high school. I was recently in a production of Beauty and the Beast over the summer at Ovations Theater, which oh, is nice. a community theater in Gaithersburg, yeah. similar to Laurel Mill, which is another small black box theater. Uh -huh. And I've done multiple musicals and plays throughout high school as well. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and Danny, we like put out that book <laughs> and we grab you <laughs> and we put you back in. Tell us how you got involved with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you can maybe answer that. <laughs> um, yes, you know, when Maureen's in need of a, a male, sometimes I get a, a, a message on <laughs> a Facebook Messenger. And half the time I'm traveling for yeah. work or pleasure. And I always say, give me two weeks. If you haven't figured it out, I'll let you know. But I think she's caught on to that and she chooses not to figure it out. And next thing I know, I get an email invite for a rehearsal schedule. So there you go. That is your signature yeah. slogan as I think about it. Uh, if you don't have anybody in two weeks, then call me, you yes, know, whatever. Right. But yeah, so. Yeah. So um, what was the first show? Do you remember what you did at uh, Laura My Milford? first show was um, All My Sons and I played Frank. Oh, okay. who was a smaller role. Uh -huh. I forget the director, and I believe he passed, actually. But Tom, he was, Tom Schneider. Yeah, he was really good. And I remember the um, the two male leads in that show were incredible. And obviously, it's a little bit of a depressing show, so yeah. to speak. But after rehearsal every day, I remember being like, wow, that really moved me. It was impactful. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And since then, we've been, I've been, I don't know, maybe Five to seven shows. You did like dancing yeah. at uh... dancing at Lunasa, uh, Lieutenant of Ishmore. Oh yeah, which I loved, <laughs> and I wish we could do some Martin McDonough stuff in the future. We um, were wiping blood off that ceiling exactly, for months. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> that was a, yeah. fake blood. Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> the opposite of Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. But, yeah. So yeah, I've been fortunate that you keep reaching out. So yeah. I enjoy We're it. Fortunate to have you, yeah. and it's nice to meet you. To have yes. you too. So, what's your favorite part about doing this? Um, we, we all know what the horrible part is. You know, it's just the, it's the lines. Oh yeah, <laughs> the way mm -hmm. of speaking. But there's good stuff. Oh yes, I. So I love Jane as a whole. She's a really great character to play. I think especially because she's very similar to who I am as a person. So it's very easy to play a character who is similar to who I am in real life. But I think I think as a whole, I think it's really interesting the how the play moves. We don't, as people who will come to see the show, we don't really have clear scenes. It kind of just transitions one thing into another, which I think is really interesting and really has to cause the audience to pay attention of, okay, so we're at Longbourn where the Bennetts live and now we're transitioning into a scene with a ball. And there's just so much action that happens. And I, I really, I really like that. And a lot, we tell a really good story and, you know, however long the show is. Yeah. Um, 
and I've loved working with the cast. Everyone is so wonderful and great. And yes, there are hard moments in rehearsals, but we've also had a lot of moments that are funny and yeah. we laugh yeah. and we break character. Right. And so there's a little, there's a bit of everything, yeah. I think. Last night was definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of laughs. You have to come and just see Danny. Oh, it's so funny. So right. funny. It's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Danny, why do you think people should come to see this show? Because it's it's a classic, you know, it's, it's a little, um, it's just not as, maybe as riveting as, you know, Lieutenant of Inishmore. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, the banter is great. And, you know, in some ways... The British English is how it's written. It's enjoyable to play with. You know, there's just a different type of ring and melody to it. And so once we get it down, mm -hmm. memorizing the lines, it's fun. And for example, your relationship with Mr. Bennett is excellent, <laughs> you know? And so I just get to enjoy that mm -hmm. on and off stage. So I think the audience will enjoy that as well because they can relate to some of these issues um, that, you know, the families are going through, but they're also hysterical in a sense so. yeah yeah it's quite a family yeah. oh yes <laughs> so thank you both you know for coming in and um letting me interview you i look forward to doing the show myself mm -hmm. i'm reprising my role as mrs bennett from 2016 or wow. 2017 <laughs> so it's been fun and um there are different lines totally yeah you know? uh -huh. i have a different husband <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I know you're going to enjoy it. Uh, bring the kids. It's it's good for them to watch a classic mm -hmm. like this. And um, if you need to call Laura Mill Playhouse to find out any more information, you can call 301-617-9906. Until next time, <laughs> thank you so much for watching.